there for the Ohio State University, Nick Hogshead. Lane three represented El Salvador at the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. Tonight for the University of Louisville, Marcelo Acosta. Lane four, six in the 200 meter freestyle at the 2017 World University Games. Representing Gator Swim Club, Mitch DeRigo. Lane five was a two-time 2017 World Championship finalist. Swimming unattached, Zane Grothy. Lane six, a 2016 Olympian for Egypt. Representing Indiana swim team, Mara El Kamash. Lane seven, 2016 NC2A All-American from Bloomington Swim Club, Max Irwin. Lane eight, a 2016 Canadian Olympic Trials qualifier, representing the University of Cincinnati, Dean Selmanovic. Championship final, men's 500 yard freestyle. And the men's 500-yard freestyle automatic qualifying standard for the NCAA championships is a 412.49. Thus far, we have yet to have a swimmer get under that. Top time in the country this year is Anton Ibsen of NC State with a 413.19, also the pool record. Rothy takes it out first at the 100, 47-58. Rothy swam the anchor leg on the bronze medal winning 800 meter freestyle relay for Team USA at the World Championships. Also picked up a seventh place finish in the 400 meter freestyle. Eighth of the 800 meter free. Next to Grothy, Mitch DeRigo in lane four. He's your top seed this morning at a 413.70, just missing out on that pool record. And on the other side, El Kamash in lane six out of Indiana. Kamash was ninth in the 400 free. At the Budapest World Championships. As they approach the halfway point, Zane Grothy by almost a half body length over Mitch Garrigo. 203.15 to 203.59. Third El Kamash at Dorigo with a quicker split on that 50. And he outsplits Grothy again. Dorigo at 24.9, Grothy 25.2. Yeah. And this has quickly turned into a two man race and a 500 yard freestyle in the battle for winner national champion. The race for third, you've got El Kamash in sixth with Marcelo Acosta in lane three. <laughs> Rothy battles back and equals the split from Dorigo, and now he turns it on coming into the 400-yard mark. 
24-7 on that 50 for Grothy. Dorigo was a 25-4. There's a 25-1 from Grothy, 25-7 for Dorigo, and all of a sudden, after 75 yards of sprinting, Grothy's got a body length advantage. Grothy with a personal best of 4.12.9 in this event, and he destroys that. 4.07.25 for Zane Grothy. 24.06 coming home. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a new American record. Dorigo second in a solid 410.78 and third is El Kamash at 416.10. But Zane Grothy splitting a 49-1 in the final 100 yards, brings it home in a stunning 407.25 to set a new US Open and American record. Ladies and gentlemen, crossing the bulkhead now behind lane number three, your new American record holder, Zane Grothy. Zane, congratulations. Did you know when you hit that you had a new American record? I did not. It felt good, and I knew if I had a good race, I could be there. Well, race strategy is so huge in, the, in this 500. Your splits were near even, front half, back half. Was that the strategy going in? Yeah. Um, a lot of the guys in short course go out fast and try and hang on, and I'm racing in more like a 400 long course, trying to even split it. So you majored in aerospace engineering, correct? Yes. Does that help you in swimming in any way, shape, or form? I'm sure I've <laughs> thought about how to make my body more streamlined. Yeah. Well, very smart and uh, a new American record. Congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your national champion, Zane.